एवरी वन इन इंग्लिश इन्वायरमेंट इन द माइंड ऑफ इंग्लिश लर्नर्स देर इज ओनली वन क्यूरी देर इज ओनली वन क्वेश्चन रूमिंग अबाउट एंड आई कैन लिसन डेट वन क्वेश्चन एंड डेट इज वॉट इज डेट क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ आई कैन बिकम अ फ्लूएंट इंग्लिश स्पीकर वॉट शुड आई डू टू बिकम अ फ्लूएंट इंग्लिश स्पीकर एंड अ विजिबल आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू प्रैक्टिस हाउ मच प्रैक्टिस एंड वॉट शुड आई डू प्रैक्टिस वॉट काइंड ऑफ टेक्निक शुड आई अप्लाई द आंसर इज डेट यू शुड यूज द टेक्निक्स लाइक सेल्फ टॉक एंड मिरर टॉक नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डेट बट आई डोंट हैव मैनी वर्ड्स आई हैव रन शॉर्ट ऑफ द वर्ड्स माई माइंड गोज ब्लैंक आई डोंट हैव स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक्स वॉट टॉपिक शुड आई चूज एंड हाउ शुड आई चूज दो टॉपिक्स to talk about because i am fed up to describe my daily routine i have done up with the things of my hobbies and interests and my everyday routine of life i have done up with but there is no consequence or there is no significant change in my fluency i am there where i have started and this is very deplorable and so the state of every english learner so if you are that one who is seeking the answer of how to become fluent in english and what should i choose and how should i choose and what are those topics which i should choose to become fluent in english while performing different kind of techniques like self talk and mirror talk then this video is specially for you welcome to gul knowledge hub if you are a newcomer here please like share and subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon because it motivates me to make much more informative videos for you guys so before any further ado we should directly dive into this question this question is very important and i am going to provide you some topics i am providing you some topics and a homework indeed because as a teacher this is my duty to provide you some assignment or a homework and you have to perform that and if you are talking in front of the mirror or if you are just talking to yourself if you are having a dramatic monologue in which you are involved and engaged in talking to yourself you should choose these topics if you are choosing these topics your your dilemma of not not having enough words or you are run short of the words will become a uh, dream for you forever this is reality and i can make you fluent in english with these topics you should adopt these topics you can think in english by these topics because the main problem the main hurdle with every english learner is that they are not only dealing with the problems they are also having the problem of how to think in english because first they they are not having any kind of topic first thing is that they are not provided with any kind of material if there is no material in your head how can you think in any language in any language it's i am not specifically talking about english language so what are those topics what are those questions you should take into considerations to become fluent in english and you have to rigorously talk on these topics you have to collect information you have to do your jam technique upon these topics because these topics are so much important so what are those topics i am going to describe it one by one so the very first topic you should take into consideration is you might be wondering that how these topics can make you fluent in english because for cooking what you need you need material 
you need items to cook the food with for mopping you need the mop for teaching you need your teaching materials and of course the information all these things and to have a video call what you need you need the mobile phone and the internet so accessories materials and information ideas are very much compulsory to become fluent in anything in anything if you don't have the item if you don't have the mop if you don't have the ideas if you don't have the technology or methodologies to convey your message then what can you do you so the very first topic you should choose is if you had a day to yourself what would it look like what would you do and where would you go first of all if you had a day to yourself what would it look like where would you go and what would you do now you have to comment me in this section comment section that how can you spend your day and how your your day would be designed by your mind where would you like to go and what things you would like to perform what actions you would you like to perform it's compulsory for you to me, to comment me in the comment section all your plan all your plan and when you are planning you are in fact thinking in english you are forcing and driving yourself to the direction of thinking in english language producing answer in english language because i have given you the question you have you have to answer me in the comment section what would you do where would you go and what would the day look like now the second question and the second topic you have to answer you have to choose while you are having your mirror talk number second topic you can talk with yourself is how can you track or how do you track your goals and accomplishments how do you track what is the measuring rod in your hand to track how much progress you have done what's that measuring rod how is that method what is that method if i am tracking my progress on youtube channel i am not tracking my progress by your views how many views i am getting how many likes i am getting even one person's comment is enough for me to track that i am on the right track so this is my answer you have to you have to write down and pen down your answer in comment section so it's an other topic for you to converse and to deal it believe me these topics can make you fluent in english if you are really and these topics can give you the jam technique you can perform your jam performance how can you perform first you have to do what what you have to do you have to converse on these topics without any research you have to speak on these topics that how can i make my progress track the first day how how it would like and the next thing is that what which are the characteristics you have inherited from your parents which are those characteristics which you have inherited from your parents next topic is what do you like the most about your home everyone likes his home because it is said that east or west home is the best but i want to know your emotions your feelings your you what you think about your home the most loved thing what do you think about your home by which you are loving your home the most next topic is what color would you choose to describe your personality and why and how it can describe your personality you have to elaborate it in detail in five lines and i will highly recommend i and i would love to read all your comments and reply them in proper time final topic is what tasks make you feel like your best self what are those tasks what are those actions by which you like your personality the most 
and you can also add this one thing that what is one habit you want to get rid of and what is one habit you want to stick to so these are some of the topics you can choose and you can also describe these questions in comment section and this this would be a step to think in english to organize your thoughts you to structureize your thoughts uh, thoughts and um, and in fact this is very good attempt to to become fluent in english in no time because if you have the items you can cook the food if you have the methodology you can teach if you can have the topics you can converse so this is the idea behind to become fluent in english so with this positive note we end this video till the next video stay happy stay blessed thank you so much have a nice day